Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel, welcome to your daily energy check. This is where we're always taking a look at what's going on with Divine Feminine, Energy Divine Masculine. Uh, what else do we need to know about the journey at this time? Get some extra insights and then of course it's the mutual viewings of what's going on in the connection specifically. Today I'm actually going to do the Love Oracle messages again. So this little deck, and this will be messages for both twins in love. So essentially this is, regardless whether you are with your twin, or you are with a soulmate, with a karmic connection of some sort, uh, maybe you are single and you haven't met your twin yet, right? Whatever it is, this is a message like a guidance in love, what is relevant to know right now. Okay, so let's jump straight in. I'm going to pull an oracle card first. Today is going to be the Cosmic Journey Oracle. Here we go. If you are subscribed to my newsletter, check your mailbox because yesterday I send you, for some of you guys, I guess it would be today, I send you the latest newsletter with the links, the updates, what's going on. I also try to do in the intro, uh, I like to do some kind of overview of the energies. And uh, I mentioned over there that August has been a month of release and closure. And I do strongly believe that's the case. That's how it's been for me. I keep hearing it from other people, uh, from other readers and astrologists and esoterics. You know, all of this, um, people who are doing similar things, who are looking into energies, who are doing conscious work. That's the pattern. That's the theme that I'm hearing. So... This is a chance September is going to be hot, eclipse season starts, uh, new stuff comes in, right? We are opening space, we are opening our hearts to the new. So if you know deep down that you still have some loose ends and you need some to take care of some things, this is your time, you know, this rest of August. And speaking of which, the feminine's got the card, you're at the Y point. This is the crossroads, essential, the divine Y point, 33. So you may be thinking now that there is a choice that you need to make or at least the priority that you need to choose. Maybe you want to, you're thinking whether you need to focus on your uh, romantic life or your business or maybe working on something around your health, you know, like this is, this is the choice that the divine is asking you to make. Basically, you are at the point where you may not be able to do everything that's on your list, right? You need to pick your priority, pick where you put your energy right now. And that's actually a good strategy overall. Do not try to do everything at once. Do not try to conquer the world, you know, but it is important to get the priorities right. Of course, there are all kinds of ways to do it. Uh, and we'll see what the tarot is going to tell us today. But this is like an extra flag, you know, like kind of an extra attention point that uh, it's important. The choice that you're going to make is going to dictate the next leg of the timeline for you, or it will be a timeline of its own. And then for the masculines, we have number 41. Your greatest joy pollinates the world. Joy is contagious. The same way as hatred or anger can be contagious, right? Joy is contagious as well. So when you... Get yourself into the joyous state and don't feel guilty about it. I know that it sounds ridiculous, but a lot of us do feel guilty if we're not used to it or if somehow some kind of patterns from childhood get re-triggered where we needed to earn, um, you know, being happy, joyful, doing what we love, etc., etc., right? Not only does it help you, tons of help that you get for your own sake. It also ignites others, it pollinates the world with the joy, with the love, with, again, the open heart energy. All right, let's see what we have with tarot. I'll try not to make this too long today. Let's see, and I'll have the, key, the, the kisses deck. I'm going to call it the kisses deck now. <laughs> King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is a loving energy. It could be also... I'm getting for some, it's uh, repairing connections with your father or healing father wound. Like, especially the loving space of it, you know. Maybe you have, you know, you, you're, you, you have a good relationship with your father, but just generally your father has been very strict or kind of 
reserved and detached. And that's something that you're craving and you're repairing right now. Queen of Wands. The, also the relationship between father and mother I'm getting here. Feminines, your energy. Wow, another King of Cups and King of Swords. This is big time father, father connection. That's why I think that's why I was uh, sensing that theme. Right, so this is like that combination where the father is logical and um, mature, you know, has a lot of knowledge and experience in using it for to make decisions, but also is supposed to have the nurturing and soft side, right? Especially for the feminine energy, right? Uh, I mean, obviously, this is an energy it doesn't have to be specifically for females. It's feminine energy, but still. You know, as feminines, that's the important part of our relationship with our father, that they nurture our feminine side, right? We, um, our relationships helps them to see that inner feminine and the softer side in themselves, right? So this is like that balanced masculine idea uh, in connection to the father right now, right? For those who had absent fathers or grew up without fathers, this is you building that a template of what that, you know, loving and responsible father would be like. And it's important, even if, you know, you're an adult and you don't really need that kind of relationship, or maybe it's not even available to you. So it's like, what's the point? It is important because it informs how you're forming your relationships with other masculines. Uh, and also the way that Essentially, you're gonna parent your child, and and this is like almost a story for another day because there's a lot to unpack there. But in a nutshell, that's what it is. That's why it's important. For masculines, we have five of pentacles clarified by justice. So masculines are we saw these cards yesterday actually. They're seeing this is a continuation of that of that story where they're revisiting what fairness and fairness is in life you know like life isn't fair i'm treated poorly right versus like what is like karma essentially is neutral it's not essentially if you if and if you think about it for any kind of example you'll see what i mean i can unpack any example for you if you have some give it to me in the comments and i'll respond but whatever the event is whether we treat it as punishment or reward karma is neutral it's bringing in balance that's the point right? And this is for determining what is my frame of reference here. How am I seeing this experience, especially if it's something from the past? Meaning that you need to reframe it now to heal it and to release it. Additional question, Ten of Swords clarified by Two of Cups. This is like this heartbreak from unfulfilled, um, unfulfilled love relationship, right? Or unrequited love. Whatever your scenario is, it's something that could have been, you know, it's kind of a wishful thinking that's not actually present in your life. So what do feminists need to know about this? The strengths clarified by three of wands. Yeah, it's the faith in believing that things are unfolding as expected, that you are doing your best and then the divine is giving you the courage and the strengths that you need and is building up your courage and strengths to be prepared for that relationship the best is yet to come essentially for masculines we have oh wow three of swords and ten of cups yeah this is turning losses into victories this is basically how do we um a don't repeat the same mistakes again uh ideally right and b how do we how does the heartbreak actually seeing how it helps find the depths of your own personality, of who you are, of the capacity to love, uh, so that you can do your 100%, you can be at your best when you find that person, so that you're not afraid, so that you cherish and value what you're getting from them, but also what you have to give, and you're able to give it, to give it your 100% and here. Okay, messages from feminines to Matt, well, no, that's not that. Messages for divine feminines in love. There we go. Messages are coming from the divine. But this is your guidance in love. If you're thinking about it, you're like, okay, I'd like to do something, do my part. What am I supposed to do? Keys on a ring. Many options. Decision. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It's a little on the nose considering we're at the divine Y point. 
uh, one night stands you're in law and unconventional so some of your choices may be unconventional some of them may be unconventional choices in love take it how it resonates don't know what your situation is like this is a general reading of course for many people but um don't limit your choices just because some of them are unconventional just to, because some of them are like i would never go out with this kind of person or i don't i don't know i don't date younger people or something you know like whatever that is it's limiting you from seeing something beautiful and amazing and especially since we're twins a lot of times those are the tests that the divine is setting up for us meaning like if you're thinking like, like you know the age difference the ethnicity difference religious differences cultural difference, whatever it is like where you're like mm, i'm not into that like i'm not even gonna consider or i've been a long a lot for a long time i wouldn't be starting a relationship for example if i'm traveling somewhere in a place of travel because i'm like well this has no future because i live in a completely different place so why bother and i'm not in a casual dating type of relationships right so like i'm not interested in just a few days of fun right i want to build something real something deep and if i'm gonna live in three days and realistically you know like we're too far away so not gonna work not even gonna consider it right but sometimes that's exactly the point to heal that like all these external things that sometimes we create as rules or as regulations that have nothing to do with a loving relationship actually right it's in our head it's what we made it up we made up for it what do we have for the masculines message in love guidance in love for the masculine what do we need to know right now or what is a beneficial message i'm just gonna pick from the middle <laughs> oh love all you need is love love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction you see self-love and healing that's what i get from this and yes you will get there and that's exactly i think what i was talking about here where you're able to heal to the point where you will know exactly what that unconditional love is uh without any toxicity without sacrificing yourself overextending yourself just pure love all right I hope this was useful for you guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others who may benefit from this type of information. And until next time.